underway. J-Mac coming after Justin Cox. Justin Cox, the 2023 winner of the Dennis Roth Classic for the Dennis and Teresa Roth, though, number 83. Claymaker out of the fourth corner will lead lap number one. Cox takes him back and turns one and two. Make some noise, King Speedway's there fighting for who's going to move on. Second place will finish. We'll start sixth in the Napa Auto Parts a main event. J-Mac will move on and survive. Justin Cox will start P6 in tonight's feature. J Max next opponent hails out of Aromas. The team based out of Reading, owned by Timo Mitri. It's the Farmers Brewing North County Plastering, number 2X of Justin Sanders. The winner of this race moves on. Second place will start fifth in tonight's feature lineup. Entering the Lifeline USA start zone. Sanders and McFadden. California and the Northern Territory. Green is out. Sanders on the bottom, he's going to try and get in front of J-Mac. J-Mac on the top is able to thread the needle on the high side. James McFadden was sixth in the order. He is looking to improve into a second row starting position. White flag. James McFadden up top. He's trying to motor away from Justin Sanders. Trying to make the run from worst towards the front. James McFadden is still in. The Roger and Lori Hamilton. Sander Engineering pole shuffle presented by Sunny Valley Bacon. Make some noise. Justin Sanders will start fifth. It's going to be a feud here in the 5-5-9. Five, five, in the other, Dennis and Teresa Roth, 83 Jr. from Pengrove, the car based out of Fresno and the Toyota Racing Development Roth Enterprises Maxim, Buddy Kofoid. <laughs> the winner of this race moves on. The driver that finishes second starts P4. Kofoid with the blue and white wing on the inside. McFadden with the blue and gray to the outside. J Mack was originally slated if he would have finished sixth, would have been in third row outside. He is looking to move potentially in the inside of row number two. California Northern Territory still in this one, battling it out. It's going to be Kofoid on the high side trying to outduel his teammate James McFadden. And they're going to duel each other going into turn three and four. They're neck and neck. Drag race coming off a of corner number four. Give it to Kofoid at the white. Buddy Kofoid leading James McFadden. McFadden down low trying to get the necessary grip while riding the curve on the high side. Buddy Kofoid is going to dispatch his teammate and he will move on. James McFadden will start fourth in tonight's feature. Well, it was a noble run for the 83 of General J. Mack. Buddy Kofoid will now be faced with the three-time winner of this event and the two-time series champion. The Selzy Enterprises, Whipple Superchargers, Red Rose Transportation, number 41, Kistler Powered Maxim from Fresno, Dominic Selzy. The winner of this race will start at worst second. The driver that finishes second will start third in tonight's feature lineup. Roger and Lori Hamilton, Sandra Newing pole shuffle powered by Sunny Valley Bacon continues. Here we go, King Speedway. Selzy with the jump over Kofoid. Kofoid ratcheting some speed, trying to close down on the red one. 41 claim 
Riker a time three at four. It's going to be Kofoid at the white. Getting the grip on the top, on the wheel a little bit tighter. There goes Selzy downstairs. And here comes Kofoid with a counterattack down the bottom. Coming to the line. Who's going to move into P3? Claymaker out of four. Selzy gets Kofoid at the line. You cannot script this material. You absolutely cannot script this material. Have a look at Peter Murphy down here. He wants it. Come on. Hanford makes some noise for Buddy Kofoid and Dominic Selzy. Selzy still on the racetrack. We've got one more position to decide. It's the Works Limited number 57. The team out of Sacramento, the driver originally out of Fremont, now calling Roseville home in the Speedway powered EMI chassis, Shane Golubic. Shane Golubic, 2018 winner of this race, facing off the three time winner. Dominic Selzy. Winner of this race starts on the inside pole of tonight's finale. Second place starts sec in second. Out of four, they hit the Lifeline USA start zone. It's going to be Selzy down on the bottom trying to roll on the momentum. Tries to throw the claymaker on Golubic. Golubic right on his six o'clock. Golubic trying to muster some speed on the high side. Selzy with the short slide going to stall the momentum. Final lap around. It is all the T of China available right now is Golubic going to try and time this right. Selzy carrying a lot of speed in three and four. Tonight's Peter Murphy Classic pole center is going to be Dominic Selzy. Shane Golubic will finish in P2 as he looks for his fourth career feature win in Peter Murphy Classic history. Make some noise for Dominic Selzy. Shane Golubic will start second. It'll be Buddy Kofoy, James McFadden, Justin Sanders, and Justin Cox. Your first three rows as he's getting ready to climb out of the race car. Third in last night's main event. Hungry for another Murphy Classic victory. There he is, Dominic Selzy. And Stu McCarthy. Tell me if I'm right on the lingo, a cracker of a pole shuffle tonight. A cracker, a ripper, a you bloody beauty. Here he comes up, and Dom, you know the scenario with all this kind of stuff. We've got, we've got the Sanders hat on. I'm just going to shoot across here in front of you. You know how you love your bacon. Also, there's a certificate from Sander Engineering as well. And we've got to give, a, obviously, thank you to them. Huge effort. How cool was that with Buddy Kofoid? That second last one, that was good, but the second last one, that was badass. How about that pole shuffle, huh? I feel pretty good tonight. Um, honestly, we've been pretty good all year. Just, uh, I don't know. It's, we just haven't really found victory lane as much as I, I think we should have already, but last night we made some decisions that I think hurt us a little bit, and we learned from them, and uh, I just want to win. So uh, if that means the old guy's got to get it off his ass and start working and put a show on, that's what we're going to do. I know the 14's coming. I know the 83's are coming. There's a lot of good guys, but uh, we've won this the last two years. I'm not going down without swinging. Also, we're going to thank Roger and Laurie Hamilton, and I said Sander Engineering. So you get to hand the bacon out. But the other cool thing is, there's a thousand dollars cash. That's always good as well. That's going to pay for the diapers. <laughs> All the best, mate. Hey, I know it's a long, long couple of races you've got to go do now. Wish you all the best. Be safe. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what we got going next, but uh, I'm going to have a beer and uh, get to work. How about put your hands together for Dominic Selzy? And he'll also hand out another Sunnyvale bacon 